Red Dead Redemption 2 is being hailed as one of the greatest video games of all time. And for the most part, I agree. The game has great characters, a magnificent soundtrack, an insane level of customization, and some of the most beautiful landscapes and animations seen in the medium of gaming. Also, you can pet dogs. It's just missing one thing. The game. Jack? Oh, shit! All the things previously mentioned were what made me finish my 58-hour playthrough. My favorite aspect of which is how you kinda don't know what's going on because Dutch won't tell you anything. You leave the planning to me. And Arthur, and by extension the player, are like, What are we doing next, Dutch? It helps you empathize with Arthur, who is struggling to decide where his loyalty should lie. I think that's a brilliant way to tell an interactive story. But you wanna know what's not a brilliant way to tell a story? The rest of the stuff I'm about to bitch about. I have the goddamn plan! The game is horrifically linear. In this example, I'm forced to hitch my horse over here instead of the one right next to the gunsmith before my mission can progress. Come on then, hitch up! Why? Look, I understand not every game is an RPG with romance options, dialogue trees, or multiple story outcomes, but don't set up your game to look like an open world sandbox with all these weapons and equipment, only to force me to stand in the right place so a scripted set piece can go off correctly. I'm trying to play a game, not be an actor in a film. To illustrate my point, let's examine the final confrontation at the end of the epilogue. This is the last thing that some players might potentially ever play in this game. John Marston is confronting Micah, the person responsible for breaking up the gang and killing Arthur Morgan, the man who saved John's life and the cowboy that we've been playing as for the past 50 hours. It's a pretty important scene, right? Here's how it plays out. Micah draws it, misses every shot at point blank range, then you were stuck behind cover and unable to do anything for a predetermined amount of time before Sadie Adler, wounded previously in the attack on Micah's hideout, gets the drop on him. Then in a twist, Dutch walks out of the cabin, just in time for Micah to overpower the wounded Sadie. Now. With two guns on John, you kinda just stand there, only with the ability to point your gun at either Micah or Dutch, until Dutch decides to shoot Micah, giving you the opportunity to finish him off. but this is like a 10 minute sequence that is barely playable. This would have been better if it was just a five minute cutscene because the rest of the game has some pretty outstanding camera work. For the record, I'm completely biased. I totally prefer RPGs like The Witcher 3 or Mass Effect, but I hope some people will agree that the gameplay elements in Red Dead Redemption 2 were a bit lacking. With a game this beautiful and massive, it's a miracle it even exists. It's a shame that a game with this much time and effort put into it couldn't stick the landing. Okay, boy. 